a little spazier, uh, like I did in the past for other muscle and other area of the face. Today, I want to talk about a muscle that tends to be problematic um, when um, the, the healing is slow and when you are noticing that your bottom lip does not move very much and it does not go down, especially that can be a problem. You might be noticing this when you are smiling. So with a smile, there is a natural movement that actually goes, that brings your bottom lip down like this. So we're going to talk about the muscle that is situated right here that is called your depressor labi inferioris. And just like the name in Latin means, uh, it means that it depresses your, um, your uh, uh, inferior lip. So just giving you this pull. So contrary to what you could think is when this is not going down, uh, actually this muscle is very tight and it's just kind of like tight and not moving. Uh, you could think that when it's tight, it would actually pull it tight down, but that is not the case. So in order to massage and stretch this area, uh, there is several ways. So for massaging, what I would do is spend a lot of time with finger in your mouth, going into this kind of movement. Using the thumb, using a index, and stretching. It could be pretty tender, just put the amount of pressure that you tolerate. As well as going toward that midline. For the stretch, you can do it from outside, just like this, holding this for 20 to 30 seconds, or more aggressively from inside. And just holding like this. So uh, this is for the stretch and then for the retraining um, this muscle is doesn't really do uh, it works with other facial movement but not really on its own. Not a lot of people have a lot of um, control in lowering their bottom lip by themselves. Um, so this is this is something that you can practice, but I would really spend your time first on massage and stretching. Once there is more movement, then you can you can work on the actual neuromuscular re-education of this. I would always start to kind of learn the movement. Um, do this in front of the mirror and try to use, do it with your good side first. So to kind of learn the movement, visualize it, and then trying to uh, do it on the your weaker side. Um, you might need some um, cueing for this, you may need some other technique, uh, but at least start with the massage and stretching if you feel like there is no movement and tightness and tenderness in that area. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, leave me comments, you can always reach me. Uh, all my um, contacts are in the bio, the link in the bio has access to uh, my website, the Bell's Palsy free report, the Bell's Palsy tutorial, uh, scheduling an online consult, everything is there. Uh, have a great day and I will catch you later.